My name is Ahmed Hassan. I'm one of the senior nuclear medicine and therapy practitioners. Uh, I work in nuclear medicine department. We do diagnostic nuclear medicine as well as we do therapeutic nuclear medicine. In diagnostic nuclear medicine, we treat patients by injecting them with different kind of radio traces. With the therapeutic nuclear medicine, we actually treat patients. We treat cancer patients or oncology patients with a lot of radio nuclides. These two rooms are normally called isolated rooms or like separate rooms. They are located on Ward 623 of the new hospital and we use this, these rooms for the radio iodine treatments. And patient normally stays here for two to three days over the weekend or sometime during the week. We were looking for some kind of really innovative change so our patient feel like having less hospital environment and more of a like home-like situation. So then the idea came and then the chari charity was again with us and then they gave us different ideas and then they did the refurbishment of both rooms. They actually installed two wallpapers on the room and that actually completely changed the uh, perspective, perception of the room and we had a really positive feedback. We do have some patients coming back for radio iodine treatment and they were completely amazed and then uh, we had comments from patients saying uh, is it the same place where we were before. Room starting from here we got two heavy lead shielded motor driven doors. We had two barriers. One is the main barrier for normal member of staff but the staff that will be in communication with the patient. So this is the barrier for them under normal circumstances. When the door will be closed they will be standing here and then there is a see through window so actually they can talk to the patient but they will slightly open the door for the food but this room is not for all the members of the staff so not everyone can enter the room and so this is a uh, controlled area uh, in legal language so coming into the room this is like a bit our area where we got our stuff we got some leftover iodine pods we got injectors and stuff which we normally use for the for our therapy if we come in the room, so this room is like more of a, you can say, apartment kind of look because we try to make it in a way that a patient has everything. So we got single bed, a tiny cupboard. We just had a tiny cupboard because patient is going to stay here for like two days or sometimes three days. So we got dedicated chair and table for them. And then we got a telly for them, a fridge, a microwave, a kettle, some cupboards. And then we got a telephone for them and PlayStation, DVD player. And it's so we actually did our best try to create an environment, especially if you see this. Uh, we recently upgraded that. Charity kindly helped us in upgrading this. And then this all stuff belongs to UHB charity. And actually the idea was to create an environment which looks looks like less hospital as I already mentioned and which is like less clinical, more charming and more like a holiday spot. And then moving on we also got and sweet shower. This is the bar we use uh, for the reference point to measure the dose of the patient when we actually administer them with any kind of radioactivity. And then we got and sweet shower and the toilet for them. This is our iodine room 2 or we call it isolated room 2 so we tend to treat more of uh, radio iodine ablation patients here so this room is well prepared for a patient uh, to go tomorrow and we will be treating an iodine uh, patient or a thyroid cancer patient here so moving into the room so you will see the room is perfectly prepared we got a plastic sheet which, which we call packet sheet on the floor or around the vicinity of the bed. We got the sheet on the armrest of the chair. We also got the sheet on the table. The reason for that is the patient will be treated with the radio iodine. So patient will be radioactive. So the whole body secretion will be radioactive. Anything coming out of patient's body will be considered as radioactive substance or radioactive thing and that thing going on the floor cause contamination. So what we try to do, we try to put a packet on which is like really handy and which actually give us a less cleaning job to do so what we do we actually at the end of the day when patient is gone we actually rip off the 
packets and throw this in the bin or and that is like monitored uh, radioactive bins not like normal waste so we and then cleaning that is still a bit difficult job but we can somehow manage that and a uh, bit like the other room it has been perfectly decorated by the UHB charity so this was a small room and this room is like a bit smaller than if, uh, room one so but the way it is decorated patient gave us a really good feedback and you can see we got telly again dvd players a lot of dvds and playstation moving on further this room uh, this room will actually give you the similar uh, condition like room one but one of the addition for this room is that we got like patients coming to us three four times or more than that because of their cancer condition we have to treat them treat them over the period of time so one patient can have certain treatment or uh, treatment in a certain uh, amount of time and then they need to come back and this uh, the coming back totally depends on the consultant and uh, the level of cancer remaining in their body but this room is always high in demand because this room got a really good view if you can uh, show this it's got a window and then outside the window you can actually see outside so considering patient in the room for three days just this and we actually tried our best to give everything to the patient but still people want to see outside what, what's happening outside so this is like more in demand because the view is really good so as i said this room is good to go well prepared for the patient so you will uh, again notice packets on the floor and you will also see some enco pads around the toilet so we put for the precaution and being really cautious we put packets and enco pad around the toilet so if something drop on that so it means it is being absorbed on the packets and the enco pad so we can throw it away and we again got the shower and everything for our patients and if you can show them the toilet is also being refurbished just to give it a bit glossy or more of a five star look.